Leptos is a community-driven framework for building interactive web applications in Rust. We created it because we wanted to be able to use the best patterns and features of modern JavaScript web frameworks without sacrificing the amazing type system, build tooling, and ecosystem you get with Rust. With Leptos, you can build your whole web app in Rust, from code that the user interacts with in the browser, all the way down to API code running on your server. You build a Leptos app out of components, which are declarative and composable like in many web frameworks. We have an HTML-like templating syntax through the view macro that should be familiar to anyone who knows HTML and CSS. And then you can add interactivity through the reactive system, which is built on signals. You declare an interactive signal like count in this example, and then you can update it wherever you'd like to. In this case, we want to update it on button click, so we added an on click handler to our button. Importantly, when we click this button and update this signal, it makes a targeted update to the DOM. Only this single text node changes, nothing else is re-rendered or rerun, which gives Leptos best-in-class performance. In terms of raw client-side rendering power, in fact, Leptos outperforms popular JavaScript frameworks like React, Vue, Angular, and even Svelte. But the real power of Leptos is in its ability to let you use the full power of the Rust ecosystem in your application. We do this through the use of server functions, which are functions that are guaranteed to run only on the server, but can be called from the client without reloading the page. This example is really simple. We'll just return the current system time and log out the input that we call it with. But every third call, we're going to return an error instead. Those error conditions will be handled by our built-in error boundary component, which uses Rust's native result type to pick up on any time that you're rendering something that's in error. So if we click the reload button, you'll notice we immediately fall back to the error condition and it's handled by that error boundary. And if I click it a couple more times, you'll notice that the value just updates directly in the browser without reloading the page. In other words, we're calling this server function from the browser without any kind of a page reload. If you don't believe me that this code is only running on the server, just check the logs. Every time I click this button, it prints out the current input in the logs on the server. Speaking of the server, by the way, Leptos is a framework for writing your application, but we don't pretend to be able to displace the other great frameworks that are out there for servers in Rust. So we provide adapters to plug into frameworks like Actix and Axum. This example is running on Actix. You'll see I've got a normal Actix main function here and create a normal Actix server. And then at a certain point in the router, we just plug in with Leptos routes which tells Axis which routes your Leptos application is able to handle and how to handle them. Now, these server functions are basically a kind of RPC or remote procedure call, but they're built on web standards, so you can use them with other web standards like forms. In this example, we send the input value through, well, an input. Every time I submit, you'll see that the new value is logged on the server, just like we would expect. Now, forms are a humble HTML element, but they're actually extremely powerful because building server functions on web standards means that forms you build with them are able to begin working on devices that don't support WebAssembly or even before WebAssembly has loaded. Whether you want to call this progressive enhancement or graceful degradation is kind of a glass half full, glass half empty thing, I guess. But in any case, we think it's a great way to build an application. I hope this got you interested in learning more about the Leptos framework. If it did, you can visit our website or our GitHub repository and check out the Getting Started section, which will bring you right to a guide that takes you through the introductory steps on how to build a Leptos web application. We've also got a super active Discord server and active GitHub discussions if you need help. But I hope that this helps you build Rust web applications to make the web a better place for your users and for the world.